Hello everybody, I hope you are doing great. Welcome back to my video about your aviation career. Today, I am going to talk about another frequently asked questions in your most pilot job interviews. Now that you know what is the instrument approach procedure from my last video, which is highlighted here, today we are going to talk about instrument approach classifications. I'm Captain Said, and you are watching me on Aviation at Home channel cooperated with Kamili Aviation. Before we start, if you didn't subscribe our YouTube channel yet or watching us from other social medias right now, pause the video, subscribe our YouTube channel and enjoy more than 200 free aviation training videos in our YouTube channel. Let's dive in our discussion. Instrument approach procedures are mainly classified as follow. 1. Non-precision approach procedure. 2. Approach procedure with vertical guidance or APV. 3. Precision approach procedure. Non-precision approach procedure is an instrument approach procedure designed for 2D instrument approach operation type A. Actually, we have to consider non-precision approach procedure may be flown using a continuous descent final approach uh, technique or CDFA. Usually CDFAs with advisory VNAV guidance calculated by onboard equipment are considered 3D instrument approach operation. Continuous descent final approaches with manually calculation of the required rate of descent or angle of descent are considered 2D instrument approach operation. So do not forget, if you calculate your CDFA and this is not calculated by onboard equipment, your approach is considered 2B and cannot be flown 3D. Next class of instrument approach procedure is approach procedure with vertical guidance. APV is a performance-based navigation PBN instrument approach procedure designed for 3D instrument approach operation type A again. Next class of instrument approach procedure is precision approach procedure. An instrument approach procedure based on navigation systems like ILS, MLS, GLS, and SPAS CAT1. Designed for 3D instrument approach operation type A or type B. Now, I have a question. Do you know what differences between 2D and 3D instrument approach operations are? If your answer is yes and you know it, please write it down in comments. If your answer is no, don't worry only watch my next video on next Friday which is highlighted here and I will discuss about it completely. Until then, sit back, relax and enjoy your training.